morning, it's Sunday late morning. We're having an early lunch at the main La Gloria. I ate at the La Gloria at the airport last week, but this is the cool one. And then we're gonna hit the Witty and check out the new exhibits. So I just think it's really pretty here. And um, what's really neat is it's this beautiful outdoor area and it butts up to the river. It's a little hot to sit out there today. So we're just gonna stay cool inside. This is the walkway of the parking garage to the Witty, and I just love how they, I love this. I love the vines. I have these same vines at the front of my house. It's gonna take a long time for them to grow. And I just think it's so pretty here. We're at the San Antonio River, which backs up at this part to the Witty Museum. It's our natural history museum. They have a rock wall here. And then we're gonna go check out this body exhibit. It's really pretty here. Very lush. Okay, I'm in the bathroom at the Witty Museum and we're in the body exhibit part and check this out. You go pee down there, of course. I haven't done that yet. And then you check the color to see if you're hydrated enough. How funny is that? That is hysterical. This is so creepy. It is creepy. San Antonio is a city filled with interesting people who will gladly share the story with you. Why adios, my friends? Enjoy your visit. Adios, senor. So I'm in the Witty Museum where they're doing, they have a display of the fiesta dresses. Fiesta is very similar to Mardi Gras in San Antonio, except that it's not. So they have a court of duchesses and princesses and queens. Actually, I don't know if there's a princess, but there's queens. And they have a display of some of the older dresses. So I just want to show you my favorite one. This one is from the Duchess of Infernal Deeds Court of Theater from 1960. So her dress looks like this and this is the train up on the wall that she would pull behind her these things weigh so much and um, here's a picture of her I don't know if you can see that but that's what it would have looked like they're absolutely beautiful and I'm just gonna do a quick pan of the room just so you can kind of see some of the less intricate dresses and then here so you can see her seated with her train flowing. I don't know if this picking up the sparkly. This is the Queen of the Court of Legends, 1941. This is from the Fairy Tale Fiesta. And there's a couple more. They're just beautiful. I hope the detail is getting picked up. And those over there. <laughs> This is all hand sewn. And they're beautiful. I think this one's pretty neat. This is from 1983, so one of the newer ones in this collection. But they do this every year. Every year there's more dresses. So, just a peek into the history of San Antonio. Hey everyone, it's Monday afternoon and I am trying to be organized and prep dinner now because I have to take my youngest to his bar mitzvah lesson. We leave at four, get there about 4.30, get home closer to six, and then I'm kind of rushing to get dinner on the table and we have my nephew in town, so you know I wanna make a nice dinner. So I'm prepping now, this is a great meal to prep ahead, and then when I get home, all I have to do is actually call home, ask my older son who's staying home to preheat the oven and he can throw the um, enchiladas in while we're in the, if it preheats or I can just shove it in the oven by the time I get home and it only takes oh I don't know like 20 minutes or so I'm looking at this recipe I the recipe is called this is terribly politically incorrect they're called white girl enchiladas because they're kind of enchiladas but they in no way resemble actual Tex-Mex or Mexican food except that you use tortillas um, the ingredients are you basically melt which is what I'm gonna do now I'll show you you melt um, like a brick of cream cheese and you add Miracle Whip and salsa. I'm using this, something a little different. I've never tried this before. It's a, it's actually a soup, but it's a green hatch verde chili soup. Oh my God, it's amazing. So it's very spicy and it's very similar to salsa and some cheese and, and you melt that all together and that's what uses the sauce. And Anyway, so I'm gonna get this sauce started. I'm gonna find a way to write up the recipe it was given to me by someone I volunteered with at my son's elementary school years ago and she didn't really list amounts so much you kind of have to wing it. 
So I'll let you know how that goes. Get off the, no, get off the, sorry, I have a kid trying to climb over the counter. Anyway, I'm gonna get it started and I'll come back and show you what it looks like in process. Okay, I have my enchilada making setup set up. So I have my tortillas that I heated in a big stack for a minute in the microwave because when the when they're room temperature, they're um, more pliable and you can flap them around more easily. I have my 13 by nine inch baking pan, which I've smeared with a little of the sauce. And first I sprayed with nonstick and then I smeared a little sauce so the enchiladas, the tortillas don't stick. And then this, um, some of you may find distasteful if you have more time on your hands, knock yourselves out. But I just use all white meat, organic canned chicken, two big cans and shredded it up and added uh, about a full ladle of the sauce. And I threw in some chopped green chilies. You could throw in anything you want, onions, beans, what have you. That's in there. And then I just am going to take a tortilla, fill it up like with a couple scoops from this Pampered Chef scooper, um, roll it up and set it in there. And then I'll show you what it looks like when we are ready to put it in the oven. And you reserve the sauce to put more on top. So here it is all assembled and ready to go in the oven. It looks like a big mess, but I think you can see on the side, there are all my little rolled up tortillas stuffed in chicken. I poured the sauce over that. I poured a little more of this Hatch Verde tortilla soup. And then I sprinkled it with like a Mexican blend of cheese. And then I put it in the oven for 350 for about 15, 20 minutes till the cheese is melted. That is it. I will show you the finished product when I get it on a plate. We just dropped my nephew off. That's why we haven't been filming much this week. And we're at the new terminal for San Antonio Airport. It's really pretty. And I want to give you all a picture of it. Cops think I'm crazy. So that's the new terminal, which I think is very nice and very easy to travel in and out of. And we are traveling out. So see ya. Hey, I am in a toy store. I haven't been in a toy store in years. My kids are kind of older, and so we don't do that but we're checking out all the games and the puzzles. And I'm picking up Mad Libs for us to play tonight because we haven't done that in forever. But they have all, do you guys, I don't know. I haven't been in one of these in so long and it's so cool. They have such cool stuff. Just look at all this fun stuff. I want a reason to buy this stuff for kids. Like I want these. Just, I love all the, like look at the stickers. I used to collect stickers, scratch and sniff, scratch and sniff stickers. So fun and cars. Anyway, this is my neighborhood toy store. And I, I honestly can't remember the last time it was in a place like this, but it is really cool. I'm gonna keep looking around. Oh, I love these science projects. We should do one of these. No. Yes, we should grow the, do these crystal ones. This is cool. I don't know what we do with it. You're like, no. Look at all these. I love these little, ooh, touchable bubbles. That could be fun. We could blow them for the dogs, but I don't know if they're edible. Your latest shoes. Tell me what kind of shoes those are again. LeBron 11s. LeBron 11s. Very odd. South Beaches. Very odd. The last, they're gonna be the last ones though. Oh, I love those, those balls with the spikies on them. Those are cool. All right, I'm gonna shop. Uh-oh, they realized. <laughs> Retreat to your corners. They used to have a rug. Oh, you were. 
secret you, 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 need you, throw, you, you, need, you need to throw one. And she'll go back to her. Look at him. Chewing the rug. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to throw one. Like no, no, no. Leave they're marking one. there. <laughs> She's like, I don't need anybody. I will just fight myself. He's kidding me. He's doing some contortions. Is that it? Is that all we got? Mimi. No, don't, don't make that noise. Oh. Water. Okay, while the Westies were fighting, Bosley has, okay, wait. While the Westies were fighting, Bosley somehow managed to get all three dog bones on the bed. Bosley, what do you have to say about this? Look at him, look at the look on his face, like, what? What, mama? So I am in front of DSW. I don't know if I can film in there, but uh, my quest is to find a pair of pretty sparkly shoes that I can slip into for the dancing portion of my son's bar mitzvah, even though I'm planning on getting really pretty high-heeled sparkly shoes. I also want to dance, so that is my goal. Hopefully they'll let me film while I'm in there and you can see the selection. Oh, and just quick outfit of the day. Um, I'm wearing a new Rimmel Glam Eyes it's not a quad, five color. Um, Milani red lipstick, and I love, this is the Edelweiss necklace from Bobble Bar, and I love this top, it's from Old Navy. Love it, love it, love it. All right, off we go. Hey, I am in my happy, happy, happy place, the shoe department at, or shoe salon, I'm sorry, at Saks um, at North Star Mall, and it was not a successful shopping trip, but you've gotta see some of these really pretty shoes. So. I'm looking for shoes for uh, my son's bar mitzvah party and I was looking for actually these kind of shoes in a heel, um, kind of more like this one actually, except they only have it in gold and I really have my heart set on silver, so we are gonna keep looking. But um, I just wanted to show you a pair of shoes that I'm absolutely not buying and I don't even know where I'd wear them but I just can't stop looking at them. Look at how pretty, these are Giuseppe Zanatti's and do you see that weird, like shimmery holographic. Look at that heel. I don't even think that heel could bear my weight, but I just think it's amazingly fabulous. And um, i trying to think what other cool shoes, I mean, there's lots of beautiful shoes, but just not the exact perfect shoe that I was looking for. So a purchase of this size requires the perfect shoe. I'm not gonna, and I was thinking that maybe I would get these shoes because these are silver they're not sparkly but they're silver but they don't come in my size or they don't have them here in my size and then I liked these actually quite a lot as did my husband until I did this and saw how much they are and said no thank you <gasps> what are these oh those are um that's a lot of that's a lot going on there <laughs> yeah uh, I'm gonna have to say no thank oh I like the sole Gorgeous. Oh my gosh! I, I knew you would. But the rest of it is, um, it's a little much there. <laughs> wow, they can't even stand up. Wow, those are, yeah, no. <laughs> but those soles are to, wow. Anyway, that is a quick peek at the shoe salon at um, Saks at North Star. We love it here. Okay, so all the shopping was for naught. I had to order online. I went to every major department store in San Antonio today. My husband is a prince among men, but I ended up just ordering online, which is really frustrating, but one of the things about living in San Antonio. So anyway, they're on our way and hopefully they will make an appearance in next week's vlog because I will be wearing them around the house every day, breaking them in before the big event so I can dance all night in them. Although I did get a pair of really cute um, like ballet, black ballet slippers with little rhinestones around the toe opening, foot opening. Sorry, my kids are bouncing around. All right, we're going to go play Mad Libs, which is really entertaining with a 13 and 16 year old boy, although I think I might be the closest one in the bunch. Um, so I will see you at next week's vlog. Thanks for watching. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. It is Marnie. It